Hello everyone, we will continue the topic exception class and in the previous video when exception raised we simply handled the exception through the catch block so whatever the exception is there we passed to the object of the exception class we declared the object of the exception class and I showed you in the debugging mode, whenever we will pass the exception to the object, yes, the object will create. If the object is created, can we call the instance method? Yes, we can call the instance method because ultimately our target is to display this message. Please enter correct order number. And we have a message or we have a method in the message. We have a method in the exception class. Sorry. We have a method in our exception class. Get underscore text. And it is clearly saying it will return the message text. This method we have not created. This method automatically came from the CX static check. Because our exception class is a subclass of cx underscore static check. Now I will simply call the method. So I will call the method in the catch block. Yes, as a part of catch. I will go to pattern. I will go to a app object patterns. Now what is the instance? Instance or object? Hello underscore exception. Now, what is the name of our exception class? This is the name of our exception class. Now, I will go to F for help. It will show me the methods and we will simply call the method get underscore text. I will go for OK. Now, in front of result, I will get the result. Now, how I can check the type, what will be the type of the result? You can individually check also, or if you want to double click and navigate, it is totally your wish. Suppose if I will click here and go to parameters, you can see result is of string type, or you can navigate from here also. If I will double click, yes. You can see result is of string type. This is totally your wish how you want to go. So I will simply, simply write one variable here. Suppose LV underscore message. LV underscore message has the same type as that of result. So I will write data LV underscore message type string. Now I will simply activate. Now in one session, I will show you in that debugging mode up to this level and then we will proceed further. Suppose I will open this program in another session in that debugging and then we will do rest of the part so that you can understand are we getting the message or not. So I will put a breakpoint. Now I will run. Suppose I am giving wrong input. I will go to desktop. Three most preferable desktop. Now based upon the wrong input, size sub RC is other than zero. So it will raise the exception. And we are passing the exception ID. Or you can say we pass the attribute attribute and this is the fixed value of that attribute as we cannot pass the exception id we pass the corresponding attribute of the same now you can see yes exception triggered now we are passing the exception to the object and you can see object created if the object is created can I call the method get text? Yes, I can call. 
Now you can see LV message is blank as of now. Now for this particular attribute, whatever the attribute we passed, yes, it will simply, simply return the text. If I will go for F6, have you seen? We got the message, please enter correct order number. This is what we want to display. So how, how I will display this message? That's why I showed you in the debugging board. Are we getting a text or not? Now we want to display this. We all know how I can display a message using the message keyword. Now, as of now, we have a exception class without, without, we are not going for message class at all. We created the exception class without message class. I want to display in this variable, we have the message which I want to display. So I will simply write LV underscore message. Now, suppose if I want to display like error, so I will write type E. Please, please put E in capital and in single quotes. I saw people, especially freshers, wrote in small letters, so it will not recognize. Previously, you are always giving the messages through message class. You are giving message, message type. You are giving message number and message class. Now, in this variable, we have the message and we are displaying like a app. Now, I will activate the code. Now, if I will show you in the debugging mode, I'll simply show you directly. Yes, because I showed you LV message just a few minutes back. I'm going for wrong input. Exception raised. Yes, we are on to the catch block now. We are now. Okay, suppose now I'm executing it stop on my query itself. Suppose I will execute. You can see size sub RC4. We are raising the exception with a particular exception ID, which we passed through attribute. We cache the exception and we pass to the object. We call the method get text. We call get the message text. Now we are displaying like error. And have you seen? I got the message. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important learning. We call the method get underscore text of our exception class. And we got the message text into this particular variable. We check the type of this particular result. It is of string type. So we declared a variable of string type. I showed you in the debugging mode that in this variable, we are getting the message text. So how you will display this text as a message? Message in this variable, we have the message text and I put type E. In the next video, I will simply, simply go for another exception also because as of now, I showed you this. Now I will show you this also and then we will go for result part also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.